You are welcome to HN What's Your Say? The number one listening show, where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are still featuring our Kelly. Real name, Robert Sylvester Kelly. Also known as the R&B King. Followers of the R. Kelly case were surprised and left in disbelief, when two of the supposed R. Kelly survivors who had been earlier seen in a heated interview with Gail King seemingly on R. Kelly's side, broke into a fight and disclosed what should have been secrets between them, in the wake of their eviction from the Trump Towers. Watch this. Here, I'm gonna help you out. Oh, he don't like that. He don't like men. You just, you just told on your own boyfriend. You just told on your own boyfriend. It looks like the shock of having to live without R. Kelly to pay the rent and buy them food, as well as finance the lifestyle they had become accustomed to caught them unawares, and certainly did not leave them the same. But then, the incident served to reveal to us what kind of people R. Kelly's accusers are. How they react to situations, especially if they have to deal with being thrown out of a good life, and having to return to normalcy, where one has to live on their own paycheck. It turns out these two young women had been close baddies and engaged in so much together. If the two had indulged in some sort of intimate moments, I am more than confident that these were completely consensual. But then, when their conversation got heated up and they couldn't agree on a few things, one took to her Instagram live and did not hesitate even a minute to try and expose the other, tarnishing their reputation in pursuit for attention. Azriel was no longer describing her lover as one, but was instead implicating her as a criminal and threatening to file charges against her. Perhaps if Sony had a contract with Joycelyn Savage and wanted to steal her money, by now she too like R. Kelly would be making prison headlines. This is the exact same thing that they are doing to R. Kelly. These women will trade their loyalty for anything, even if it's just the satisfaction that they have ruined someone's life. In a blink of an eye, for them everything changes, and they will quickly shift from being truthful to lying on you as a way of exercising their anger issues and limitless egos. Now, this event is really revealing of what R. Kelly is currently dealing with. I personally know of many people who have faked insanity to deny their partner a divorce, or even faked their death to access life insurance. Looking at the way R. Kelly's ex-girlfriends have been handling matters, ever since he turned broke, there is no doubt that whatever is happening could be just a way of making their final attempt at taking what belongs to him and using it for their own survival. These accusers are taking the last swipe at Robert, and guess what? It's all for no real reason. There is so much evidence to prove that R. Kelly was always nice to these women and treated them well, except for a few disagreements here and there which are normal in any relationship. It is also not true that he enticed and coerced them to be with him. If anything, it's the parents in most cases who allowed their daughters to be with R. Kelly, with the hope that they could become his real partners and get a hold of the fame he carried with him. But just like Azriel suddenly decided to claim her girlfriend Joycelyn came onto her on social media, tarnishing her precious name to all her followers and the entire world, they are now together with the other women doing the very same thing to R. Kelly. How selfish! This entire episode R. Kelly is going through is a combination of Sony's desire to take what belongs to him, and the women's need to survive after his financial and legal troubles. Each one of these two forces is pressing against the R&B king, why? Because he is the talented superstar that holds the wealth they all are fighting to get a portion of. It's strange how the US Court of Justice can welcome and entertain such cases, which are based largely on the desire to overthrow a great singer, and take ownership of his entire estate. Then make such wrongful convictions as though to suggest that this level of scheming is acceptable in our country. Of course we all know it's a scheme to defraud R. Kelly and lock him up to avoid legal suits. But also like we all know, it's always different when the malicious schemer is a billion dollar company, and therefore the highest bidder in the equation. We have over the years discovered that money has got the unique ability to bend testimonies from the truth towards lies. This R. Kelly situation is with no doubt a highly financed and well-planned project to defraud the R&B king. The ex-girlfriends are only trapped in between what turns out to be a bigger fight between R. Kelly and his music handlers. According to Laura Jones, 
The video showing the altercation between Azriel and Joycelyn clearly showed how their arguments are only out of dissatisfaction, and how the contest is one's word against the others. It's however hard to understand why the New York jury and judge chose to believe one party and not believe the other. I mean, if there was no prejudice in this, why did they choose not to believe R. Kelly? Which criteria did they use considering there was no backing evidence for all these claims? According to Silva Pato, The chain of events in R. Kelly's case has made me realize how heartless some people can choose to be. Killing a person doesn't necessarily have to involve shooting at them or stabbing them with a knife, it can also involve spreading fatal lies about them like these women did R. Kelly. What these people are doing to R. Kelly is attempting to murder him. The good news is we shall not let them succeed with such intentions. According to Tay Patterson, This whole made-up story in the first place is about money. These women never loved him. Don't people see that? Lies after lies. I'm however so proud that despite his financial shortfalls, some people have stuck to his side. I believe that the truth will eventually prevail. Keep your head up Kelly, because you still have fans out here that do believe you are innocent. According to Trisha Murphy, the bottom line is that all those females knew what they were doing all along, and had no problem participating willingly. Azriel and her parents targeted R. Kelly, along with the rest of those accusers. I actually blame the music industry too, because they played a major part in destroying R. Kelly's career. If you wish to take part in a live interview on this channel discussing any of these topics, let us know by emailing us on sashahnnewsroom at gmail.com for scheduling. That is all we had for you today on HN What's Your Say? To keep updated whenever we post a new video, subscribe to this channel now. Also remember to hit the bell icon and enable notifications. And feel free to share your opinions with us in the comment section below, and let us know if you would like us to publish your views in our next release. We value all our subscribers' opinions.